Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have yet another product to try out for you guys. Now I know this one isn't particularly new new, but it seemed like within, I don't know, like 24 hours, 48 hours of this product launching, it was completely sold out. Like the whole line was completely sold out. And then recently it finally came back and I was so excited so I had to get my hands on it and I have it and here I am filming it for you guys so I I just am so so excited to have, for it to have come back for us to be able to purchase and for me to review for you guys and I couldn't already tell by the title it is the Moschino and Sephora collaboration now again they did do a, a big line now they had brushes and they had um, some keychains they had like a little necklace keychain lip gloss holder thing but this was the only one item that I was just like I was so excited about and I really wanted to test out and try it and I think it's so cute but I love how they have to disclaim on it that it's not a toy but they even have like the little hole there that's like T touch me like if it's a teddy bear and it like talks to you and you push it so I just think they did a really cute fun job with the packaging making it seem like it really was a toy um, which is kind of the, the teddy bear theme that they went for here but it's not it's makeup and it's a lot of makeup and and when you open up the packaging you are given this little package and it gives you all of these um, all, all of these looks that you can do and they're named after really famous towns um, throughout the country, or not the country, the world. There's Hollywood, Paris, Milano, Miami, Hollywood. There's a whole bunch there. So I think I was repetitive there. So they give you some ideas on how you can mix and match and it even tells you what to do with what. But today, I'm not gonna use that, I might later, but I just really wanna play with this today. I've been waiting so long for this to come back in stock and I've been waiting so long even since I did come in stock for me to get it and to be able to film for you guys. I Obviously as you can see it's still in the packaging so I have not played with this, touched this, anything. This is what it looks like in real life and it's just adorable. It's so cute. I love, I love the packaging. I love the way they did it. Um, then you open up and you get this big old mirror right on top. Love that giant mirror. And then here you are with the shades. Now there are um, everything from more cool toned up top and as you go down you get a little bit more warm tone. And you do get quite a few here. And it does come in 21 different shades. So you do get quite a lot to choose from and I'm excited to play with this. So I'm just gonna leave the intro at that. I'm gonna prime my eyelids and then we're gonna play. Because when your makeup looks like a toy, there's really no other way to describe it than play. So first I'm gonna go in with Moon Dust, which is this really pretty dark purple shade right here. And I'm going to put that all throughout my crease. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a halo look today. So let's start with that. So the little was a, the purple was a little bit hard to blend out, but dark colors, purples especially, can be difficult. So we're going to clean this up a little bit as we go along. So, but I'm going to go ahead and move on, and I'm going to go in with Pennies from Heaven, which is the very first shade right here. And then it's this really pretty kind of peach color, but it has a lot of gold um, shimmer flecks in it. So I think this will create a really pretty halo look. Yeah, this shade is just gorgeous, you guys. It's just beautiful. And I'm really making sure to take that into the purple and blend them out nicely. Some of the wet brush I'm gonna go in with Fort Knox right here, and this is a really pretty gold color. Um, another gold color that they have is Spun Gold down here, but it's a little bit darker than what I want, so I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade and pop this right on the center of my eyes. It 
So I'm going to go back in with pennies from heaven down here and just use that very gently on my lower lash line. I'm not really going to do a big smoky look. I just want to add a little bit of pop of color down here as well. Then lastly, I'm going to go in with angel wings, this really pretty bright color right here. It has like a pink undertone to it, but it's um, a very shimmery shade. I'm going to pop that on my brow bone and in the corners of my eye. So that's it I'm going to do for this look. I'm going to go put on some eyeliner and some mascara, then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on the palette. Okay, now that I've got everything on my face, um, I really like the palette. The colors were absolutely stunning. They were beautiful, and I really like the variety that you get within the palette. I did struggle a little bit just to blend out that deeper purple shade, but again, when you have those kinds of colors, that's not atypical. But the um, Pennies from Heaven shade, oh my god. Gosh, that was just a gorgeous shade. And the gold, they applied beautifully. They they feel really nice and buttery. Um, I don't have swatches for you guys, but if you want to see them, let me know. And I can just kind of, you know, put a picture down below or something. I'll figure it out. But anyway, I did like the, the palette a lot. It, it was it a little overpriced in my mind. Um, maybe a little bit, but then again, you do get 21 shades. And it's a very very cutesy palette. You do get a lot, again, of cool tones and warmer tones. There's a lot of neutrals in there. You can do a lot of different things with it. So I think it was a super cute palette. Um, of course, with the packaging, that's what drew me to it. Naturally, it's a child inside me. Was drawn to it right away. Um, and I really enjoyed making this look. I know I kept it really simple, but I didn't want this to be a super long video because my last one was super long. By the way, I'll link that down below. That's when I review the physician's formulas. And I gotta say, uh, yeah, this this went a little bit better this time around than I did on that video, but I really enjoyed it. I do like this palette a lot. I will continue to use it and it will create looks like this. I'm calling this, I guess, my sunrise halo look. I don't know, we'll play around with that title. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate, um, again, you taking the time to watch and show your support. Let me know what you think in the comments section if you've tried this palette, if you were able to purchase it, because again, it took me a couple times to purchase it. <laughs> took a little bit, but I got there eventually. That's all that matters. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe before you go as well. Still a lot of great things coming up for you guys as we get to the end of the year and into the beginning of next year. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the great videos I've got planned for you coming up. But until I can get them out for you guys, as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.